Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for April 20th, 2011, the Dow 10 day chart. Uh, best case scenario is that we got a five wave A and a B, and uh, the big drop on Monday was an entire C wave. But I have a hard time believing that. But if the, the Dow can take out 12,365 to the upside and take out the top of the B, then that would be bullish. But um, I'm still anticipating the C wave down. That'd be A, B, and the C. But um, even though we rallied off the lows, I'm, I'm still kind of leaning towards the C down. Recipe. Best case scenario that this is a five wave pattern A, this is a small B, and a downward C, which lasted all but one day. Again, I have a hard time believing that the C wave would only last one day. I mean, it should, have, it should last at least four or five days instead of just one day. But if the S&P can take out a 1322 to the upside, then uh, <laughs> that would prevent a C wave down. For NASDAQ, same thing, it'd be five waves, uh, A, B, and C. So an a, the A wave lasted again five way um five days, which means this C wave should last these five days too. So um, but the futures are up about uh seven actually about twelve in Nasdaq. So there's a chance it could take out twenty seven seventy. If we can take that out, then it will prevent a downward C. But again, I'm still um, I'm still anticipating a downward C. That's a wrap.